So, welcome again uh, in my course power electronics application in power system. In the last class, I, I discuss or rather I derive the expressions for the power flow. Uh, power flow means uh, active and reactive power flow uh, at any point of a uh, lossless long transmission line. And we, I also discuss the plots of this power flow with respect to uh, this line length. So, as you have seen that since we consider the line to be lossless, the active power flow at each and every point of the transmission line starting from the uh, sending end or sending uh, uh, end bus to the receiving end bus remains same. However, there is a change in reactive power flow over the line with respect to the line uh, length right and this happens because of the line bar generation and bar uh, absorption due to this line parameters. Now, in this lecture I will discuss uh, on derive the uh, various parameters at the mid point of a uh, long uh, symmetrical lossless transmission line. Let us move forward. midpoint condition in it means that midpoint voltage current and power means both active and reactive power for a symmetrical lossless long transmission line. Okay. So, this is we will discuss today. So, we will discuss today the mid uh, or and also I will de uh, derive the expressions for the midpoint voltage uh, and the midpoint current and the midpoint active and reactive power for a long lossless symmetrical transmission lines. So, here our assumptions are number 1 we consider lossless line, number 2 we consider long transmission line, number 3 we consider symmetrical transmission line. Okay. Now, what do you mean by symmetrical transmission line? I already discussed for symmetrical transmission line, we consider the sending end voltage is equal to the receiving end voltage magnitudes. So, this I discussed in the last class. A symmetrical uh, transmission line refers to the uh, fact that the sending end voltage magnitude is equal to the receiving end voltage magnitude. Okay. Now, so let us draw this uh, a, a long transmission line. So, here we have distributed parameters and let us consider the line length is L. So, voltage at this point is sending end voltage voltage here is receiving end voltage and current at this point is uh, sending end current and current at this point is receiving end current. Okay. So, what we are interested is suppose at this midpoint, midpoint means it is uh, having a length L by 2 from the sending end as well as it is having a length of L by 2 from the receiving end side. So, at this uh, midpoint let us consider the voltage is V m and current is I m. Okay. So, here V m refers to 
मिड पॉइंट वोल्टेज आई एम स्टैंड फॉर मिड पॉइंट करेंट ओके नाउ वी नीड टू डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर भी एम एंड आई एम एज वेल ओके सो दैट इज वॉट आवर गोल इज सो आवर गोल इन दिस लेक्चर टू डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर भी एम एंड डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर आई एम हायर दिस भी एम रेफार्स टू द मिड पॉइंट वोल्टेज आई एम रेफार्स टू द मिड पॉइंट करेंट राइट नाउ इन अर्डर टू फाइंड आउट दिस लेट एस हैव ए रिलेशनशिप ऑफ भी एम उथ भी एस एंड भी एर सो उई नो उ कैन पुट दिस रिलेशनशिप ऑफ दिस भी एम उथ रेसपेक्ट टू द सेंडिंग एंड वोल्टेज एंड द रिसिविंग एंड वोल्टेज एंड दिस रिलेशन्स आर वन इज भी एर इज इक्ल टू भी एम कस बीटा एल बै टू so since uh, we are using uh, this uh, we are representing the receiving and parameter in terms of this midpoint voltage so it means that uh, this l by 2 is measured from the uh, receiving end side okay so this is equal to minus j zc im sin beta l by 2 okay this i am is having phasor quantity now similarly we can also write down the equations vs is equal to vm cos beta l by 2 plus j zc i am sin beta l by 2 these two equations already we have derived in my uh, previous lectures we derive the expressions for um, uh, this sending and side parameter with respect to receiving end and also we derive the expressions for receiving end parameters in terms of sending end parameters more importantly in my last lecture i also derived uh, the expression for generalized expression for uh, this uh, uh, this uh, voltage active power and reactive power at any point of the line okay so from this you can find out this expression so here where uh, this zc as you know it is surge impedance and beta is the phase constant okay now what we need to do is that we need to solve this equation so by solving this equation what we get if we add this equation together then what we will get is im is equal to so if we add this two then this should be cancelled out so we will get vm is equal to vs plus vr divided by 2 cos beta l by 2 okay now we consider now we consider vs is equal to vs at an angle 0 and vr is equal to vr at an angle minus delta now also we consider that line to be symmetrical so since line is symmetrical so what we can write is vs is equal to vr the magnitudes of the sending and side voltage is equal to receiving and side voltage to equal to let's say v okay now so we can write again rewrite this vs is equal to v at an angle 0 and vr is equal to v at an angle minus delta so we consider that uh, the sending and side voltage and receiving and voltage side are equal and they are equal to this v and accordingly we can 
write this ok. Now, when we write this let us put over here. So, this will be equal to v at an angle 0 plus v at an angle minus delta divided by 2 cos beta L by 2 ok. Now, so we need to add this uh, two this v at an angle 0 and v at an angle minus delta. So, what is ha what will happen if we add this v at an angle 0 plus v at an angle minus delta. So, this gives this uh, it is v and this gives it is v cos delta minus v sin delta. Now, if we take a common then uh, if we take v as a common. So, then what we get this is equal to v 1 plus achha, there would be a j here because we are converting this v at an angle minus delta from polar to a Cartesian uh, uh, coordinate. So, what we will get uh, we have a real part is 1 plus cos delta minus an imaginary part is v sin delta. Okay. Now, 1 plus cos delta we can write it as a uh, 2 cos square delta by 2. So, we can write it as a 2 cos square delta by 2 minus j v sin delta we can write it as a 2 sin delta by 2 cos delta by 2. Now, if we take this 2 v as cos delta by 2 as a common then what we will have that we have cos delta by 2 minus j sin delta by 2. So, which means this is equal to uh, if we convert it to again from uh, Cartesian coordinate to polar coordinate. So, what we will get it 2 v cos delta by 2 this I am writing over here this is equal to 2 v cos delta by 2 at an angle of minus delta by 2. So, this is exactly we will put over here. Okay. So, what we will get it is 2 v cos delta by 2 at an angle minus delta by 2 divided by cos beta L by 2. Here also there is a 2 in the denominator. So, numerator and denominator this 2 will be cancelled out. So, what we will get that v m is having a magnitude of v cos delta by 2 divided by cos beta L by 2 and it is having an angle of minus delta by 2. So, that is what we get from this solution. Okay. So, that is what we get the voltage at the midpoint. Uh, its magnitude is equal to V cos delta by 2 and uh, divided by V divided by uh, cos beta L by 2 and angle is minus delta by 2 which means that this V m is having its magnitude and an angle of minus delta by 2. Okay. So, this is what the V m. Now, we also need to determine this I m as well from this. So, in order to find out this I m what we need to do? We can subtract this equation 1 from this equation 2. Okay. So, what we will get let us see. So, we get I m is equal to this I m phasor is equal to V s minus V r divided by J 2 Z c sin beta L by 2. This I obtain from this previous two equations, these two previous equation. One is this, another is that. Okay. So, if I just subtract this first equation from this equation, I, I will get this I m expression. Now, again I know that this V s is equal to V at an angle 0 and V r is equal to V at an angle minus delta. Now, in the denominator we have J 2 Z c sin beta L by 2. Okay. So, similarly what we can do is let us evaluate the numerator again. So, we can write that V at an angle 0 minus V at an angle minus delta is equal to V minus V cos delta 
plus j v sin delta. So, what we get this is v 1 minus cos delta plus j v sin delta. So, what we can write that 1 minus cos delta is equal to 2 v sin square delta by 2 and we can split this uh, uh, sin delta as 2 sin delta by 2 cos delta by 2. Okay. Now, if we take 2 v outside and also sin delta by 2 outside, so what we will get? We get sin delta by 2 plus j cos delta by 2. Okay. Now, one thing you can see that here also we have a j term in the numerator. So, if we write that v at an angle 0 minus v at an angle minus delta divided by j, then it would be uh, 2v sin delta by 2 divide multiplied by sin delta by 2 plus j cos delta by 2. This I we obtain from here divided by j. Now, uh, we will we'll, uh, uh, can write it as 2 v sin delta by 2. So, if I uh, just divide it with this uh, numerator, what we will get cos delta by 2 minus j sin delta by 2. Okay. So, this gives 2 v, if we convert it to uh, uh, Cartesian to polar, so what we will get 2 v sin delta by 2 at an angle minus delta by 2. Okay. So, I can write this as a, so this is what we got as a v, uh, this numerator divided by j. So, we can write I m is equal to 2 v sin delta by 2 at an angle minus delta by 2 divided by 2 z c sin beta l by 2. Okay. Now, this 2 2 will cancel out. So, what we can write I m equal to v sin delta by 2 divided by z c sin beta l by 2. So, this is what the magnitude of I m and its phase will be minus delta by 2 that is what we get from this derivation. Right? that is what we get from this derivation. One thing uh, uh, we can uh, notice from this is equal is that this angle of I m is similar to this angle of V m. So, this I m is also its magnitude at an angle minus delta by 2. That means, V m, v m and I m are in same phase the angular displacement because uh, an angular displacement between the midpoint voltage and the midpoint current of a long lossless symmetrical transmission line is coming out to be 0. That is what uh, wonderful thing that we can find out from this derivation. Okay. So, that happens specifically for this symmetrical line and also one thing one should remember that this, this voltage whatever we are talking about this V s, V r, this V it is per phase voltage. Even though I do not mention it, so one should understand that this is per phase voltage. Okay. So, we get this V m expression, we get I m expression as well. So, V m expression if we copy from this previous uh, derivation, so this will be equal to V cos delta by 2 divided by z c cos beta l by 2 at an angle minus delta by 2. So, these two are we obtain. So, that to us our goal to determine. So, uh, at the very beginning I said that we are interested to find out the midpoint condition which refers to the fact that we need to find out voltage, midpoint voltage and midpoint current as well as that midpoint power. Okay. And uh, already we obtain this uh, the expressions for midpoint voltage and midpoint current. Right? 
Now, once we obtain this, then I can write that this midpoint. So, this is what the midpoint current. This is what the midpoint voltage. So, the midpoint. active power would be equal to as you know in order to find this midpoint active power let us consider that s m that is midpoint complex power let us uh, can write that midpoint complex power instead of active power so it is equal to v m i m conjugate multiplied by 3. Okay. So, this 3 uh, is coming because of this 3 fetch because even though I have not mentioned that you have to understand that uh, this this uh, symmetrical lossless long transmission line is of course, of 3 fetch. Okay. So, symmetrical lossless long transmission line is of 3 fetch. Now, when we consider so, so this 3 should be a multiplier with this VMIM start. Now, since this uh, VM and IM are same fetch, so there would not be any uh, this imaginary part of this complex power. So, what we will get that uh, this will be equal to 3 VM expression is V cos delta by 2 divided by Z C cos beta L by 2 this is V m expressions and I m expression is V sin delta by 2 divided by Z C sin beta L by 2. Okay. And since that uh, if we uh, take the conjugate of this I m this will be plus delta by 2. So, the angle of this will be minus delta by 2 plus delta by 2 which is equal to 0. So, that means there would be no uh, imaginary part from this expression and we can write this is equal to 3 v square this cos delta by 2 sin delta by 2 divided by z c cos beta l by 2 sin beta l by 2. Now, we multiply uh, this 2 with the numerator and denominator, we multiply 2 with this numerator and denominator. So, what we will get is this 2 uh, cos delta by 2 sin delta by 2 will give you sin delta. So, this is 3 v square sin delta divided by z c sin beta l. Okay. So, that is what the expression is. Now, if we uh, uh, ab if we just put this 3 inside this V, then we can write this is equal to V L to L square sin delta divided by Z C sin beta L. Okay. And imaginary part would be 0. So, so, this is the real part. So, this expression is already uh, you have seen many times even in the last lecture that this expression is the expression for active power uh, flowing throughout the line. So, which would be also true for this midpoint as well and the midpoint active power is expression is this where V L L L to L is line to line voltage. Okay. And of course, delta is the uh, phase angle displacement between the sending end voltage and receiving end voltage. So, from this what we can conclude that this midpoint active power P m is equal to V line to line square 
sin delta divided by z c sin beta l ok and midpoint reactive power q m is equal to 0 ok all right and this happens because this happens this happens due to the fact that v m and i m are in same page ok and uh, or rather I should uh, write that there is no uh, phase angle uh, displacement among this V m and I m. So, that and uh, when uh, we have uh, two quantities are in same phase if the voltage and currents uh, are in same phase that means that there is no reactive power exist ok. Now, here also this happens ok. Now, what we did here is we derive the expressions for uh, this active power, we derive the expression for reactive power as well, we already derived the expression for voltage and current at the midpoint of the transmission line and this is very important because these uh, expressions would be uh, used several times when we consider the compensation required at the midpoint. Okay. So, uh, you have seen that this uh, P m is equal to that P s is equal to P r and that means that the power at the midpoint is equal to power at the sending end and power at the receiving end. This happens uh, due to the fact that we consider we consider lossless line. Okay. Since we consider lossless line, so P, uh, this uh, power at any point of the transmission line would be equal. This is we understand uh, in the in the last lecture also we have seen. So that is also proved from this uh, two expressions uh, that we derive for voltage and current at the midpoint. Okay, and uh, uh, this this we uh, derived in the uh, uh, last lecture that. Uh, this power at any point of the transmission line would be equal when we consider lossless transmission line. But what is coming uh, here is that when we have a midpoint reactive power for lossless long symmetrical transmission line, then it is coming out to be 0. That is what one uh, important uh, observation that we can uh, make over here. And this happens primarily because uh, this V m and I m are in same phase and there is no angular displacement between uh, V m and I m and most importantly this happens since we consider the line to be symmetrical. So, this is what uh, the point I want to make. Mm -hmm.